The city council approved a sales tax reimbursement, which opens a door for Apple Inc. to build a business office in downtown Reno and a huge data center in unincorporated Washoe County. And I'm very proud to be here. Uh, it's uh, very exciting uh, when I get to work on projects like this. I've been at Apple 12 years, and as you know, we're uh, expanding uh, incredibly quickly, uh, and our businesses are expanding into areas that not, have not traditionally been uh, the types of things we work on, like Siri uh, and the iCloud, iTunes, things that, that really demand that our customers have uh, information at their fingertips 24-7 instantaneously. Uh, and that requires us to build out uh, data centers, again, something that you know we weren't in the business of a few years ago. Uh, but we now are excited to expand in Nevada beyond our 400 employees we have here now uh, to build a world-class data center in Washoe County and a downtown office here in Reno. The business office will be located in a yet-to-be-determined location in the Tessera Tourism Improvement District, which is an area between downtown and the University of Nevada. The council will reimburse the developer of the project sales tax increment dollars generated by the district to pay the cost of acquiring Apple, in part because Apple is expected to be a catalyst for bringing other economic activity to the district. I, I think it's obviously going to have a great catalytic impact. I mean, to show that Reno has the commitment to the digital economy, the new age economy, to locating companies like Apple in its downtown and doing the things necessary to attract them here. Apple plans to start construction of the data center on 350 acres near Sparks this August. It has only built one other data center of this kind in Maiden, North Carolina, and has begun construction of another data center in Primeville, Crook County, Oregon. Folks says the Nevada Center will be built in a continuous modular format, starting with a 5-megawatt data center. It's said to be the greenest on the planet. There will be plenty of construction jobs, and Apple will hire about 40 employees and another 200 contract employees. As I said, there will be hundreds of construction jobs um, right off the bat, and uh, we've already talked to a lot of our facilities folks and really feel that there is a tremendous talent pool here in Reno, both on the construction side and on the data center side, which is part of the reason why we chose to be here, um, because it really is, uh, I think, a great place uh, for us, both both from, from the jobs that we're we can hire locally and also just from the, uh, the energy grid, and a lot of other factors that go into deciding a data center. I mean, it's exciting for the city of Reno. I mean, a, a company, a, an icon like Apple, coming to Reno, they're going to have a presence downtown. Um, I mean, it doesn't get any bigger than this. It's a terrific opportunity, both in terms of the, the project itself and the number of jobs and the investment that's created there, um, but also the partnership with Apple is uh, terrific. And I think really opens up the eyes of people around the country and the world um, and gives Nevada a new light. The Apple project will add about a billion dollars to the local economy over the next 10 years.